Emmanuel, God is with us. My name is Angela, reporting for Emmanuel TV. The Bible states in Amos 3 verse 7 that God does nothing without first revealing it to his servants, the prophets. Every week during the live service at the Synagogue Church of All Nations in Lagos, Nigeria, starting from 8 a.m. GMT plus one, Prophet TV Joshua gives prophetic messages of future events which God has revealed to him concerning individuals, nations, and the world at large. On Sunday, the 23rd of March, 2008, Prophet TB Joshua revealed a prophetic message for the nation Pakistan. Let's listen to what he said. Stretch your hand and pray for the nation Pakistan. Pray for them. For the peace and unity. A nation Pakistan. L'homme de Dieu appelle à prier pour la nation du Pakistan. Priez pour le Pakistan. For the peace and unity among the people. The love of God. Father, let it reign among them. Let them love you more than anything else. In Jesus Christ's name. In Jesus Christ's name. Prophet TB Joshua said, Stretch your hand and pray for the nation Pakistan at this moment. Pray for the Pakistan nation, for the peace and unity among the people. The love of God. Father, let it reign among them. Let them love you more than anything else. In Jesus Christ's name. On Sunday, the 4th of May, 2008, Prophet TB Joshua prophesied again concerning the nation of Pakistan. Let us listen to what he said. We pray, we pray for, for the, the universe. Pakistan. Lord Jesus, peace and unity, Amen. comfort. Amen. Where there's pressure and tension, you are the solution. Yeah. Provide the solution now. Yeah. Where there's war, crisis, you are the solution. Yeah. Provide the solution now. Yeah. Hallelujah. Amen. I'm looking at the signature. It's kind of signature for somebody to sign and say, hey, I'm resigned. What is the meaning of that? So let us pray. Father, we thank you, Lord. In Jesus' name. Amen. I will not say more than that. Prophet T.B. Joshua prophesied, We pray for the nation Pakistan. Lord Jesus, peace and unity, comfort. Where there is pressure and tension, you are the solution. Provide the solution, Lord. Where there is war, crisis, you are the solution. Provide the solution, Lord. I'm looking at the signature, a kind of signature under pressure and tension. For somebody to sign and say, hey, I'm resigning, what is the meaning of that? So let us pray in Jesus' name. I will not say more than that. Hallelujah. Amen. I'm looking at this signature. I'm looking at this signature. It's kind of signature. For somebody to sign and say, hey, I'm resigned. What is the meaning of that? So let us pray. On Monday, the 18th of August, 2008, President Pervez Musharraf announced his resignation as the president of the nation Pakistan. Let's watch the report. We begin with an important moment for the people of Pakistan. The President Pervez Musharraf has announced his resignation. It's a move that gives his many critics just what they've been looking for and it saves the US-backed former general from almost certain impeachment. Well, our Reza Sayer is in Islamabad and he has been following developments from the Pakistani capital. Reza. 
the political career of President Pervez Musharraf, who announced his resignation this afternoon in Islamabad about 1 p.m. local time about three hours ago. But a dramatic set of developments today and a lot of suspense because uh, nobody was quite sure what the president's decision was going to be. Let's set the stage. This morning, his spokesman announced that he would uh, address the nation with a televised speech at 1 p.m. And then came the rumors and conflicting reports. Uh, some said that he was going to resign and some of his allies say no. He plans to face the impeachment charges. And when his speech began, he kept the nation in suspense because it wasn't until 45 minutes into his one-hour speech that he actually revealed his plans uh, to resign. And let's go ahead and take you through what was a very dramatic and sometimes emotional speech. He opened up by saying it's a tough uh, day of decisions today. Then he outlined some of his accomplishments. Then he questioned why the coalition partners uh, would want to impeach him. And there you got the sense that perhaps he wasn't going to resign. And then again, 45 minutes into his speech, there was a distinct shift in tone. He said that he loves his country and he will always love his country. And he's uh, conferred with some of his uh, political allies. And he's, he said for the sake of Pakistan and for the sake of ending the confrontation, he's decided to resign. Here's how he announced the decision. Now I have decided that I would resign from the post of president and I would be sending my resignation to the speaker of the parliament. A farewell ceremony at the president's house. Basharov presented with the honor guard and salutes from military colleagues. Not the way he wanted to go out, say analysts. The resignation of Pakistan President Musharraf confirms the words of prophecy from Prophet T.B. Joshua, which said, I'm looking at the signature, a kind of signature, for somebody to sign and say, hey, I'm resigning. Take note of the way Prophet T.B. Joshua demonstrated the signing of a signature as he said this. This is exactly the way one would sign their signature. The resignation of President Musharraf who seized power nine years ago, came after weeks of pressure and tension for him to relinquish power. At a time when Pakistan is facing critical challenges, such as a sinking economy and an emboldened militant movement. Speaking about his decision to resign, Musharraf said, the coalition has decided that I am part of the problem and not the solution. His words precisely reflect the Prophet's words. Where there is pressure and tension, you are the solution. Provide the solution, Lord. Where there is pressure and tension, you are the solution. Provide the solution, Lord. We at Emmanuel TV and the Synagogue Church of All Nations pray for the nation of Pakistan, their leaders and the citizens that the peace, unity, and love of God would reign among them in these troubled times, in Jesus' name. To witness the power of prophecy firsthand on a personal, local, and international level, join us every Sunday for our live service on Emmanuel TV at 9 a.m. West Africa time, 10 a.m. Central Africa time, 3 p.m. Indochina time, 6 p.m. Australian Eastern Standard Time, 12 a.m. Pacific Time, and 3 a.m. USA Eastern Time. Remain blessed in Jesus' name. And remember always, the best is yet to come.